The Toronto Maple Leafs face a complex dilemma in building a winning roster, and the words of one of their key executives, Patrick, ring a bell. We needed to find a way to surround Mario with better players. We knew we only had a limited time to get it right, said Patrick. General Manager Brad Treliving enters the Maple Leafs scene, taking over a team he didn't build, akin to becoming a director in the middle of a movie. The team has stars such as Austin Matthews, hockey's top scorer, Mitch Marner, one of the greatest playmakers, and William Nylander, one of the most explosive players in the game. However, over eight years, with three general managers, a team president and two head coaches, nothing tangible was accomplished under the pressure Patrick mentioned after winning two Stanley Cups in Pittsburgh. The building process, which should be about today, tomorrow and next year, has become more about emotion, pressure, desperation and the opportunity that presents itself this week. But one thing remains unchanged, Patrick had Lemieux and Jagger, and later in that rookie season he acquired Ron Francis, providing him with a foundation for two impressive championship runs. Patrick made the necessary trades to transform Pittsburgh from a one-man show into an unstoppable team. Treliving's first year as general manager of the Leafs, replacing Kyle Dubas, was somewhat uneven. He made some interesting additions, such as defender Simon Benoit and goalkeeper Martin Jones, as well as the versatile Max Domi in the summer. Some not-so-good signings, like striker Tyler Bertuzzi and defender John Klingberg. He didn't have much to spend, and in fairness, he couldn't buy much with it. Now Dubas, seemingly out of playoff contention in his first year in Pittsburgh, is, by absence, responsible for leaving so little for Treliving to deal with. Treliving doesn't have many trading tokens. He has little other than a first-round pick this year to offer, which is difficult to trade since the Leafs have no first-dash, second-dash, third- or fourth-round picks for the 2025 draft, largely due to problems left by Dubas.